everyone. So last week we started talking about a new product that we added into our collection for spring and summer. It's called a French butter crock and it looks very similar to our dinnerware collection which is a very rustic raw unglazed um, ceramic and we partner with our ceramicist and dear friend Nona Hall. She makes these for us. Foodies and experts and chefs all say that butter should be kept at room temperature and not refrigerated, and we agree. Um, and to safely do that, what a butter crock is, is two pieces, and the lid is where you smash the butter, and the base is where you pour about a quarter inch of water. Basically what the crock does is the little bit of water at the bottom seals the butter and air is what uh, ruins butter or makes it go bad. So before refrigeration, this is very common, especially in Europe for storing butter. So with that, what we're gonna do is make some compound butters. I love flavored butters and we're gonna put them in our little crock. And I am going to make a seasonal ramp compound butter. If you're familiar with ramps, they're only available for a short time and that's right now. And I'm making two butters on the spicy side. One is Mexican, which has some uh, red chili flake. We're using a Korean flake because it's a little bit brighter in color. Garlic salt, cilantro, and lime zest. And an Indian flavored one that has turmeric for color, um, and a little bit of flavor, some chili pepper, toasted cumin, curry leaf, salt, and a little bit of asafoetida. So we love compound butters. It dresses up kind of an ordinary dinner, so it's something special you can have. It's great uh, just on plain toast. It's a great um, ingredient for cooking, especially roasted vegetables. You can put it on top of proteins. It's amazing on potatoes. Um, and it just is something different you can do with fresh butter, and we, we love it for the color and the flavor. All right, so we're gonna start off by making a Mexican-influenced compound butter. We'll start with one stick of butter. Uh, we let this out overnight so it's nice and soft, easy to work with. And to that we'll add the zest of one lime, some cilantro, about two tablespoons, and then a little bit of garlic powder. Uh, this is Korean chili pepper, also known as gochugaru. We use it because it's not too spicy, but it adds a lot of color. And then a little bit of salt just to enhance the flavors. So at this point, everything is mixed nice and we're ready to add it to the crock. So now that the butter's are neatly packed into the crock, put it in and it's good to go. So we're gonna make an Indian compound butter. The ingredients we're using include ground cumin, uh, which has been slightly grounded, uh, so you don't bite into any whole spices. Kashmiri chili pepper, which has a nice color, but it's not too fiery. Uh, we have organic turmeric, which adds a nice color and a little bit of earthiness. Salt. A little bit of asafoetida, also known as hang. This gives it a kind of a garlic, onion, funky flavor. And then a few leaves of fresh curry. So the flavor of this butter is gonna be earthy, a little spicy. Um, this will be really great on bread. It doesn't have to be an Indian dish that you're using this with. I'm going to make my ramp compound butter. I'm going to take about eight ramps that are minced. Now I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt and fresh ground pepper. The ramps are so fragrant and have a wonderful taste that that's all you really need. It's just a little salt and pepper. And this is my favorite part. You're going to just mash everything together. So there you have it. We've made three compound butters, a seasonal compound butter with ramps, we made a Mexican-influenced one with cilantro, lime zest, chili powder, and a little bit of garlic. So yummy. And then an Indian-influenced one that uh, features flavors of turmeric, uh, freshly roasted cumin, 
and chili powder. And we did all of these in our French butter crock that's available online. But no worries if you don't have a butter crock or if you're not comfortable about leaving your butter um, on the counter. You could put these in a ramekin or a small jar and store it in the refrigerator and it'll last for a while. And that's it guys. We hope you enjoyed these three amazing compound butters and we'll see you soon. Bye.